This is Jefferson Close-Up and I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is Dr. Nate Evans. Welcome. Now, your dad was a doctor and you used to hang around his office when you were a kid. Were you always interested in math and science? Well, I, I was. I, I, you know, I played basketball and tennis uh, in high school, but I was always very interested in science and math. And when you got to college? Same thing. I, I you know, was majored in biology and was always very interested in that. But you ended up as a surgeon. Are you a tinkerer kind of a guy? <laughs> Yeah, I've always kind of liked to take things apart and put them back together and work with my hands. How does that play into your life today? Well, uh, outside of work, I'm, I, I use it a lot in cooking. I'm, I'm sort of an amateur chef trying to, trying to build my repertoire a little bit. Do you cook for your family? I do. I do most of the cooking in my family. Uh, my wife cooks a little bit, and uh, we have a two-year-old and twin, a boy and a girl. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your work. You trained as a cardiothoracic surgeon, but you actually don't operate on the heart. What do you do and why did you choose that? So I do sort of non-cardiac, like you said, thoracic surgery, which focuses mainly on the esophagus and the, and the lungs. The majority of what I do is either lung cancer or esophageal cancer. So a lot of the people you see are very ill. And yeah. How do you deal with them? Um, well, I think that I look at my job as, as, as sort of an ambassador for those people and being able to explain very complicated things to them. And, and I think mm -hmm. a lot of what I do is trying to make sure that I explain things in, in sort of lay terms and make sure that people understand mm -hmm. exactly what, what their problem is and how we can try to deal with it. As a lung surgeon, what are the kinds of decisions you're faced with regularly? Well, I guess that kind of falls into two groups. And there's decisions about whether or not people should have surgery at all, and I think a lot of what I do is, is trying to figure out, you know, what procedure people should have, if any, and, and how, they'll, how they'll do, you know, during an operation or afterwards. And then, you know, in the operating room, there's, you know, several decisions every case mm -hmm. about how, how to do a certain thing and how best to approach things. Yeah, you don't all do everything the same way. Unfortunately, no. It's, it's every, every case is a little bit different. Um, I'm sure you tell your patients to stop smoking. What other advice do you give them? Well, I think everyone should have a chest x-ray. Uh, at least after age 50, you should have one chest x-ray for a baseline, and, and most people should have one every couple years after that. Wow, that's something I didn't know. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.